Hello there and welcome to this tutorial on how to add music from my iTunes library on my Mac to CasaTunes music server. So there's three steps involved in uh, setting this up. The first thing we need to do is we need to go into the iTunes app and make sure that there's a couple of settings there set up uh, to enable sharing of the iTunes library. Uh, which we use, which is a, a database of uh, all the music that's in iTunes, which we can use to accelerate the syncing process. The second step we need to do is we need to make sure that our Mac is set up to share the iTunes folder so that the Cosatunes music server has access to the iTunes music. And the final step is to actually configure uh, either using Casa Setup or the iOS app to configure a music collection for the new iTunes library. So let's start with our iTunes library. So I'm running this on a Mac right now. And as you can see, uh, I've got a bunch of albums in my library. And uh, so the only thing I really have to do here is I need to go into the preferences for iTunes and make sure that a couple of things are set up. So, um, so what I want to do is I want to go actually into the advanced tab on the preferences and I want to make sure of a couple of things. First of all, I just want to know where my iTunes music is being stored because ultimately this is the folder that I'm going to share on the network so that the Cosatunes music server will have access to the iTunes music. Next uh, is it's important to just let let iTunes manage its own media folder. Uh, this makes sure that all your music that's in your iTunes library is kept within the iTunes media folder, which is what we're going to share, and that it therefore ensures that we have access to the music. The next option that's important for our case is we want to make sure that we share the iTunes library XML with other applications. As I sort of alluded to in the intro, we use the iTunes library XML, which is just a file, and it sort of acts as a database of all the contents of your iTunes music library. And so we use this as a way to accelerate discovering the music on this server. Okay, once we have these preferences set up, we can, uh, we can go ahead and close that. And now we're, we're actually, we're done with uh, configuring iTunes. That's all we really had to do. The next step though is we need to configure uh, the system preferences, in this case on a Mac, uh, and I need to be able to set up my sharing options. So I'm going to go into the system preferences and then I'm going to click on the sharing and I'm going to enable file sharing and then as far as the folders, I'm going to enable sharing my iTunes folder, which is where all the iTunes music is kept. So you can just go through here and just browse through your, um, through your Mac and locate your iTunes folder, uh, which is what I'm using in my case. And, um, and once you've added the folder, uh, just make sure that everyone has read-only access. We, we, don't, we don't actually write to the files, but we do need access to read the files. Once we've done that, the other thing that we should do is um, if we go into the options here, we need to make sure that you check that you want to share the files and folders using something called SMB, which is a server messaging block. This is a network protocol that is used by the Cosatunes music server to access these shared files residing on your Mac. So it's important to check that. And then it's important to also specify the account to use. Um, with your SMB and the easiest way to do this is to use the same um, use the same credentials that you use uh, to access your Mac. Okay once we've done this now now um, so once we've done this we've made sure that the iTunes application is sharing its iTunes library XML file and we've also made sure that the Mac is sharing all the iTunes music files. 
So the last step is for us to go in and actually configure CasaTunes and create what we call a media collection for this iTunes library. So to do this, uh, open Casa Setup and select the My Music tab. And here what we want to do is we want to add a new music collection for our iTunes library that's on my Mac. And my Mac is David's iMac. Okay, so we're going to just give this collection a name. So I'm going to say this is David's iTunes Music. And the next thing I need to do is I need to specify the location of that music. So it's basically the computer name followed by the name that the name of the folder that we shared which in this case was iTunes so in my case it's going to be David's dash iMac and the folder that we shared is iTunes now I have to enter in the username and password and this is the credentials that I would use to access my Mac so my name is David Krinker and my password is blah 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 and once I've done that, I can now save my settings. But before I save my settings, I have another option to make here. And the first option is whether I want to play my iTunes music, whether I want to copy the iTunes music from my Mac onto my CasaTunes music server, or if I just want to link to my Mac and play the files from the Mac itself. Uh, the advantage of copying them over to your music server is that then you don't have to worry about whether your Mac is on or off. So our recommendation is always to copy the music onto your own uh, CasaTunes music server. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now the disadvantage is that this can take quite a long time depending on the amount of music that you have to copy. But in the case of uh, my music and QuickSync and CasaTunes, we, you have the ability to, as soon as we have indexed the music that's on your Mac, you can start playing it regardless of whether it's actually being copied over to the music server or not. And the music server copying can happen in the background. The only thing you've got to do, of course, is make sure that you leave your Mac on. So let's go ahead and save these settings. And it tells us that we've successfully verified our settings. And now it starts the process. So there, it's a nine step process and some steps are, are fast and other ones are slow, especially when you copy the music to the music server. And you can see how it's performing down here. You can see um, as it progresses, it'll start incrementing these counts. Um, now it might seem a little slow at first, but um, it'll pick up speed pretty quickly over here. The other thing that you can notice is in addition to my music collection information, uh, you've got information about the actual disk capacity on your music server. So in my case, uh, I have a terabyte hard drive in my music server and there's 805 megabytes available for music, uh, which would be a lot of music um, and we won't use anywhere near that amount. Um, but as you can see here now, it's, it's, starting to, uh, it's starting to collect information about the songs and um, and like I said, it'll start processing these songs pretty fast at some point. And I just want to go back to um, the stats here that are, are as, as we're processing the music collection. And you can see that we're now at step nine of nine, uh, which is actually the step where we start copying the music. And if we go down and look at some of the stats here, uh, we can see that, uh, you know, we're going to be copying a total of 3,590 songs and 484 albums with 361 artists and there are nine playlists different genres and once we finish the copy process we'll have copied 27.8 gigabytes and you can see that so far we've only we've only cached 13% uh, of that so we've you know we still got a ways to go as far as the copying goes uh, the duration here is um, how how many uh, days, hours, and minutes, and seconds, if you were to play every song in your library, how long it would take. So you, you can see we've got quite a bit of music over here. At least for nine days, you could <laughs> listen to different music. 
Um, yeah, so that's you know, so that's a, that's a brief overview. And the other thing I wanted to to show you is that now that we've actually gone through the process of indexing all your files, so now all your music is available to play, even if it hasn't been copied. So Cosatunes is smart enough that if you select music to play that hasn't been copied, it'll just play it off of your Mac. Um, but so if we go into the Cosatunes app and we go to select music you can see first of all that your music collections there it's now called the one that we named David's iTunes music and um, you can see that uh, you know a large large number of the albums uh, already have been downloaded and uh, and so I can now play for example Sade and I don't know right now whether this has actually been copied onto the music server or not but my guess is that it hasn't and I can go ahead and play that and it'll start playing even though it's still copying in the background so once you've once you've indexed it you can safely start playing the songs and then you just got to uh, you know essentially go back and monitor to see whether the, um, the whether the, um, the the music collection process is, has finished and there is a notification in the app uh, when it has completed so if, you, if you're starting to play music with your iOS app when this process is fully completed you will get a notification on your iOS app. So that's a quick overview of how to add music from your Mac in iTunes to Cosatunes. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for your time.